everyone, welcome back to Kaimana Conservation, the channel where we talk about the ocean and everything ocean related. If you haven't been here before, my name is Jessica and I am a professional marine biologist that lives on the island of Maui in Hawaii. Today we're going to be doing something really fun. It's something that I've loved ever since I was wee wee small and I never grew out of it. Hopefully if you guys are ocean lovers, you guys have not grown out of it either. Today we're going to be going tide pooling, which is essentially walking up and down the coastline here on Maui. Uh, specifically, we're down on the south side of Maui. It's called La Perouse, so that's even further past McKenna. A little bit of a rocky road to get here, but so, so worth it for the wildlife. Um, and there's tons and tons, and you can see behind me, tons and tons of lava rock pools. And the animals abound in these areas. You can see crabs, eels, sea cucumbers, sea urchins, juvenile fish. Uh, so we're going to be exploring all of that today. Already I can see so many things uh, in these tide pools. So hopefully we'll have a really good time. And then as we're finding things, I'll give you guys a little bit of extra information so you guys can get just a little bit of an idea of what you can look for before even stepping in the water. There's tons of animals to see on the coastline here in Maui. Let's go. such as the name. You can see he's got his little feet right there. He's tucked in for the most part because I flipped him upside down, but they've got little tube feet, kind of like sea urchins, and now he's stretching. He's trying to find land. Flip him over. I'm gonna put him back down. Don't wanna stress him out. Pretty not to share. in general but like tiger cowries because of the size like you can see where the snail that comes out and around like comes up and you can see the lines so you can see this is his overlap line so the snail comes out on this side and then it comes out on this side there's his overlap line it keeps him nice and polished helmet urchin. So as you can see he only has his spines around the outside and they're kind of flattened and on the top his spines have actually modified into these scales and the scales are actually mobile and that allows him to protect himself against the heavy surge that you get along coastlines especially like this one and it also helps to block out the moisture so whenever he's on the intertidal line if he comes above the water for a period of time he can help hold that moisture in. So they're 
They usually don't come up off the rocks, but we were very gentle and it came off without any trouble. And it does give you a really good opportunity to see the underside. It's a little sandy. And you see these little tube feet that are wiggling around there. Those are his little suction cup feet, kind of like octopus. That helps them to adhere to the rock, really suck down. They have a surprisingly powerful grip. And right there in the middle is actually his mouth. So it's fleshier on the outside, but if he were going to eat things, there's like a really hard little beak in there. And that's how he grinds stuff up. Mm -hmm.